Hiya, welcome to Bundesliga. We're going to take a little look at the best players up for grabs coming out of Germany to make up a beautiful and cheap starting 11. They're coming at you next. That's right, folks, back once again with another out of contract 11. We've gone over the canal, over to Germany, and checked out the best available 16 players for, from the Bundesliga. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button, keep your bang up to date with all things out of contract 11, Blapper and Rovers 11, and of course, World Football Boys and Girls, whenever it comes back. Uh, so, yes, we are going to take a look at the best players up for grabs out in the Bundesliga. But before that, big shout out to the boys, the Patreons, No Coat Drinker, Russell Frost, Cody Coho, Tom Berry. Tom Clark, the legend John Spur, Mitchell Shone, Constable 1976, Daniel Meller, Aztec Market B Mark, you know who you are, the VIP exclusive gang supporting the channel at these bad times where there's zero thought to talk about. So thank you for your support. You continue support. Respect to my brothers out there. If you want to join that illustrious VIP gang, there is a link down below in the old description. Patreon.com forward slash Roverseas for a little as a cup of water. Now maybe a cup of coffee cheap coffee, instant coffee, you can support the channel in another way, and then I will be forever in your debt, you become our best mate, and we'll go hang out digitally, you know, as we do. Anyway, let's get cracking and take a little look at, of course, the uh, situation here. Now, this is the clue right here. We're going to go with a 4-5-1 today. Usually, we're going with a 4-4-2 uh, because there's a lot of good midfielders on the option and there's not that many good strikers coming out of Germany at the moment, up for grabs, but there's one very, very good one. A World Cup winning one. There you go. That's a little bit of a hit for you. So we're going to start between the sticks. Um, and it is a, a number one goalkeeper, I believe, for uh, new boys. Uh, and actually doing a surprise package. Uh, Union Berlin. We're talking about Rafael Gilkwitz. Where are you, Rafael Gilkwitz? Uh, of Poland. Yet to break through to the international team. He's 32 years of age. Um, he's been an okay sort of addition. Of course, 25 games, 41 goals conceded, six clean sheets. He is forever number one out of Union Berlin. They're doing okay in the, t in the, in the table in the Bundesliga. Uh, they'll be around next season, I'm pretty sure. 1.1 million pounds. He is rated maybe a little bit uh, a little bit harsh on him, but still good uh, safe pair of fans. Of course, Poland do have... Oh, yeah, they are sport for choice, but I'm sure he could be in the squad at least. Anyway, so Gilkwitz uh, is my number one between the sticks from Bundesliga, 32 years of age, 1.9 meters tall, great reach. Uh, and again, uh, formerly of, he's uh, it's a bit of Braunschweig, played through the Polish leagues as well, uh, but now he's in the Bundesliga. So let's take a look at the left back. Uh, we've got a bit of money in the left back, I think. How much is the left back? No, not too much. Uh, it is Nico Grieselman coming at you from Dusseldorf. Uh, it's been at the club since 2017. His contract is up for renewal. There he is. Uh, not too shabby. 28 years of age. Left back extraordinary. 17 games this season. One goal, one assist. Uh, it's featured 64% of the time. Formerly of Hanover, Neuen, or Zexton Neunzisch. He slips in there nicely at left back there, buddies. Uh, so he'll go in there. Uh, one of the first names of the sheet. Yes, he is. Uh, to make up a decent and I think a very competitive back four here. I think this this team could do very, very well. Definitely in the Championship and maybe even do very, very well in the English Premier League. Uh, currently valued at £2.5 million. Pounds. Um, yeah, he's actually gone uh, from strength to strength. I think he was high, uh, rated a little bit more, more money uh, at the start of 2019. But uh, £2.5 million pounds right here, right now. Go, in as a, go for a song, boys, at the end of the season. Gobble him up if you need him. Let's go into... Uh, into Center back now. This is the most ex one of the most expensive players within the team. Uh, coming out of Schalke, uh, he is an international, uh, former under twenty one international for France. It is Benjamin Strambouille. That's right. Can play in a variety of positions. Just the nine games so far this season. Maybe he's been plagued with injuries. Twenty nine years of age, uh, valued at eight point five million pounds. Can play as centre back, uh, defensive midfield, and maybe even as central midfield. He is formerly of Spurs. They had him for a little bit. They sold him for uh, seven point seven five million pounds to PSG, and then uh, Schalke bought him off at PSG for around about seven point two million pounds. So that's the going rate for this fella. Um, he's still twenty nine years of age. Um, again, former tw uh, 21 international for France. Um, his values hopped and scopped a little bit. He's gone up a little bit, um, but again, it uh, looks like injuries might have played his season uh, this year. So he's going for Nout. 
Uh, could he go back to the Premier League? Could he go back to France? Would he stay in Germany? The question is on everybody's lips. Alongside him, uh, another decent centre-back option. Uh, coming out of Wolfsburg, it is a German, 27 years of age, uh, is Robin Knoche. Knock. Uh, to you and me, me old mucker. Um, yeah, playing 18 games this season for uh, Wolfsburg, who are doing okay, uh, battling for Europa League spots at the moment. Not the, great, not the, the greatest pace. 18 games this season, uh, one goal, 68% of the time. He's in the starting 11. Can play either spot at the centre back, formerly of, uh, always been Wolfsburg pretty much throughout his career. Uh, but he's probably on his way out at the moment, unless he signs a new deal, which he still could. Uh, but at the minute, he's going for free. Uh, his value has hopped and scotched. He was rated around about 10 million back in 2015. So he's. Uh, Maybe not progressed in the way Wolfsburg were hoping. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's, he's still available. Um, would he leave? I think he could. We'll have to wait and see, though. Next up, we have a bit of a veteran at right back, but he's doing absolute bits at the moment for uh, title challenges for Borussia Dortmund. It's Lukas Petsiak, a Polish international right back, 66 caps, three goals to his name as of recording, uh, 34 years of age, 20 games this season, just the one goal, three assists, uh, right back. He can also play as centre back, uh, formerly of Hertha Berlin. He also played a little bit of time in, in Poland as well, um, but uh, joined. Uh, Dortmund for free back in 2010 it looks like uh, from Hertha Berlin so he's getting on a little bit uh, he may have a year or two left at the at the top end at Bundesliga um, but uh, yeah he's available for an out this summer let's go to that bossy man five man midfield a lot of players here uh, there were some good options on the bench as well that didn't make it uh, talking about uh, other players I think I missed one that uh, could have made this, the, the lineup. Uh, Oscar Vent could have made it a left back, but he doesn't even make the bench. So Oscar Vent, unfortunately, you're not good enough. Um, so let's move into into uh, midfield now. We've got a whole host of players to take a look at. We've got a whole five in the in in there, and some that didn't even make it. Next up, we have a Schalke player. He is uh, 32 years of age. He's a former. Uh, I think he make the Italian squad, but he is of Italian uh, of nationality. He's also half German. It is Daniel Calguri, uh, right right wing back, uh, right midfielder, whatever you want. To do. Anywhere down the right hand side, he can play. Thirty two years of age, former uh, player of Freiburg. He also played a little bit uh, in the lower leagues out in Germany. He's been at uh, he's been at uh, former Wolfsburg player as well. He's been at Schalke since twenty seventeen. Is the most expensive peak at value was around about five point eight five million pounds. Currently rallied at three point six. Uh, he's going for free. Twenty games this season, one goal, three assists. And again, can play where anywhere on the right-hand side. 72% uh, of the times he's been playing for Schalke this season under Wagner. Uh, so he's there and he's going for now. Uh, where do we go now? Let's go on the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, we have an ex-Chelsea Premier League winner, Solomon Carlu. Yeah, he's still knocking about is old Solomon Carlu. Getting on a little bit now, though. Only valued at... Uh, he's, he's gone for a song, £1.4 million pounds at the moment. That's his current value, but he's going for free. Uh, he's only played the five times this season for Hertha Berlin, who, have, of course, they did have Klinsmann at the helm for a, for a period. Uh, five games, one goal, just the four four times. He's been at the club um, since 2014, so he's been there a while. He's formerly of Lille as well, fine order, Excelsior uh, down in the Dutch leagues. Of course, once valued at around about £12 million back in the day uh, in his Chelsea time. 34 years of age, Ivory Coast International, 97 caps, 28 games. He's probably still playing for the country as well. Uh, again, former Premier League winner uh, with Chelsea back in the day. So, yeah, he could have him for now as well. Uh, he might not be as... as as nippy as he once was, the pace is still there a little bit. Good driven ability. Um, I think last season he was he was much more involved than this season. Uh, so those are your two wingers uh, for for this freebie eleven coming at you from the Bundesliga. Let's go take a look at uh, a next uh, Liverpool man. I think this guy uh, right here, uh, Nuru Sadin. Um, he was he was uh, flip flopped around a little bit, didn't he? He went from uh, went from Dortmund uh, to Liverpool for ten million or a loan fee or something. I don't know. He went to Real Madrid as well in the in amongst that bunch, and he also went back to Dortmund as well. Currently in the books at Werder Bremen who are struggling. They paid around about a million pounds for him uh, 2018. Currently valued just about the same as well. Former German Cup winner. He's also won other bunch of trophies as well. It's just uh, 16 times this season. Three assists for his name. Uh, they are struggling. Uh, Turkey International 52 caps, two games. He is only 31 as well. So he's still got a good three or four years Yeah, at, at a reasonably top level. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's worked out for him. The pace has gone on the lad. Um, so not, too, not too, uh, too much in the legs department. Once valued around about 14 million million pounds when he's 22 years of age uh, but of course now he is not much of a spring chicken um, so yeah decent option if you want a bit of a, an experienced head in, in, in the middle of the park it never worked out for him at Liverpool I did it uh, I think there was rumours way back a few years back that they might want to bring him back in but uh, he'll slide in uh, into my uh, midfield slot there uh, alongside him uh, we've got another uh, defensive midfielder it is X. 
Has he played in the Premier League? I think he might have played in the Premier League. Yeah, ex-Manchester City man uh, and Leicester man as well. Gelson Fernandez, late addition to the team here, defensive midfield slot. Uh, 33 years of age, currently on the books at Frankfurt. Valued around about £1.1 million, pounds, just the nine games this season for Frankie. Uh, 33 years of age, former Swiss international, 67 caps, two goals. Uh, again, he's been around the block a little bit. He's been to Stade Rons, Sporting Lisbon, uh, St Etienne, Ud Udinese, Leicester, Chievo. Uh, Sion, uh, he's been around the world, uh, been around the Europe anyway, but now he's at Frankfurt. He's been at Frankfurt for about three years now. His contract is up. Where's he going to go next? Maybe uh, to some some promised promise land with a lot of money knocking about. Maybe Qatar or, or Saudi Arabia, or MLS. You just don't know. But is the boss man in the midfield coming at you now? The fifth man to make up this rather interesting midfield. It's, it's a guy in his peak. His name is Charles Aguirres coming at you from Bayer Leverkusen. That's right, the Chilean international, 78 caps, seven goals for his country. Value around about 11 million pounds. Uh, he is a box standard, box to box midfielder. Uh, 18 games, one goal, three assists this season. Can play out on the right as well if you want to go there. Formerly of Internacional out of uh, uh, Brazil. Uh, Udinese as well. He also played at Colo Colo back in his native Chile. Uh, decent player as well. He's, his value has been around about £13 million, pounds, give or take, but he's, on the, he's, on, he's going for a song here, boys. Going for a song. Uh, he's picked up the Copa America winner for Chile twice. Uh, so he knows how to win shit, but he's here now in the Bundesliga. But for how long? He's going for absolutely nothing. So he's the 10th man in this uh, pretty good, decent 11, I think. Uh, of course, very, very structured in the midfield. You've got a couple of experienced heads in there. And, uh, you know, it's it's a decent, mature 11. No no, no whippersnappers. You've got the, the youthfulness in Knoche. But up top, you've got a World Cup winner, boys and girls. That's right. Mario Goetz is going for free uh, from Dortmund. He's not, he's not really uh, set the place on fire since those World Cup winning days back in 2016. Uh, 13 games, three goals, valued around about £9.5 million. Pounds. Uh, he's only been in the t uh, starting level 20% of the time. Uh, he was at Bayern for a little bit for £31 million. Pounds. That was his value at the time and they paid £33 million. Pounds. Uh, so his value has dropped from £40 million, uh, to around about 10 in about six years. So... Uh, yeah, it's not worked out for him. He needs a reboot. He's only 27 years of age, so he's got a good five years of, of, of mainstream football for him uh, on the horizon. But where will he play? Of course, they've got uh, uh, Haaland now, Lena Lyon, and such. It's a different different beast now over in Dortmund, and I don't think Goetze fits the mould. Uh, so maybe he'll go to another team in Germany. Maybe he'll go to the Premier League. Uh, but he's a World Cup winner, and he's in the 11. Believe it or not, squeeze in there, Sunshine. Get in there. There he goes. Out he pops. So that makes up the 11. Now, who just falls short uh, in the substitutes bench? Now, we also had an option to put Vidad Ibisevic uh, up top. He's a veteran striker of, uh, of, of, of Bundesliga ilk. Also, Toba, Tobias Sturbel had a shot at getting into midfield, but he failed to get in there. Failed to convince the manager that it's me. Um, the other alternative for uh, goalkeeper was Thomas Kraft. Uh, as a 31-year-old goalkeeper for Hertha Berlin. He's not first choice. Where are you, Crafty? Here you are. So here's Thomas Kraft. Around, around about £540,000. Again, just played four times. Six, uh, nine goals conceded. Um, so he's not really first choice for, for Klinsmann's old team there. Uh, but he has also won the Bundesliga back in the day for, uh, for Bayern. I uh, was on the books there as a, a second fiddle for a good uh, portion of time. Uh, his value has decreased from two million to around about five. Uh, next up, we have an ex-Arsenal man. That's right, Stefan Lechsteiner, Swiss international of, of yesteryear. 108 caps, eight goals for Switzerland. He's 36 now. Uh, joins Augsburg back in 2019. Found around about 720,000 pounds. Played 17 games though, uh, which is quite uh, considerably. I think he played more here than he did uh, uh, for Arsenal. Again, formerly of Juventus. Of course, he won absolutely everything for Juventus. Seven. Seven figure majiggedies uh, out there in, in for Juve. He's also played for Lazio, Lille Grasshoppers. Um, he's only been at Lazio for a little bit, so so he's only been at Juventus for a short time. Interesting. He once was valued around about eight, nine million pounds, going for around about seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. He's, he's past it a little bit, but he could still probably do do his bit at a lower league uh, level. Uh, joining him is um, where do we go here? We're going to go with. Uh, an attacking midfielder of, of a decent age, 26-year-old uh, Kevin Stoger. He's an uh, Austrian international, or at least in the frame, anyway. Um, Valued around about £4 million, £3.6 million, but just eight games this season, three assists. Can play in the attacking midfield, so also box-to-box, -box, as well as left-sided midfield. Currently in the books at Fortuna Dusseldorf. His contract does expire at the end of the season, formerly of Padawan Stuttgart and Kaiserslautern. So he is up for grabs. And then we have a couple of Munchie Gladbach boys. An Americano to boot. Uh, Fabian Johnson, left-back, left-wing-back, left-midfielder, whatever. 
whatever you want to play him. Uh, 32 years of age, uh, around about 1.5 million pound value, just the six games this season. You can play left back, right back, left wing. Um, it's been an American international, 57 caps, two games, two two goals. Uh, formerly of Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim, uh, 1860 Munich. Uh, so he's been at Germany forever. Um, he was actually born in Germany as well. And then wrapping up a goal scoring machine, we have a, a teenage mutant ninja turtle. His name is Raphael. That's right, goal scoring machine for Bush. Uh, Bush I know them well. Uh, six games this season, not many goals. Uh, in fact, zero goals. 35 years of age. Um, he's been at Bush for a few years. Uh, he once was valued around about eight million pounds um, uh, when he was in Schalke. Schalke days, but he's been at Munich since 2013. Uh, they bought him for 4.5 million pounds. He's going for an absolute free. He can play as a, as a striker, centre forward, second striker, whatever you want. He, he'll do it. He is 35 though. He's getting on a little bit. So that, my friends, makes up my um, my starting eleven. Freebies coming at you from the Bundesliga and of course the bench. But how much would this uh, team cost you right here, right now? Before before any contracts come out to the end of it. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, the starting eleven will cost you around about forty-seven million pounds. Where is it? Well, the starting eleven will cost you forty-seven million pounds. Now, how about the substitutes? Well, they'll come in at around about seven point five million pounds, which makes this combined team a first-team team of fifteen, sixteen players of four fifty-four million uh, five hundred thousand pounds coming at you. So they're available for absolutely nothing for free. That's right, boys and girls. So there's sixteen. Very good players, internationals, experienced World Cup winners. We got them all here, and no one Ruski right available for you. So yeah, what do you think about that, bad boys? Who would you like to see at your club? Whether you're a Premier League team, a Championship team, Scottish team, whatever you are in the world, who are that eleven? And of course, the bench. Would you like to see gobbled up for free at your club? I'll take, I'll take good, sir. Hey, I know he won't come to Rovers. Strambu is a decent value as well. Sarin, 31 years of age. I'm sure he's still got some good, a couple of years in. And, uh, uh, Knoche is not too shabby as well. Uh, as for yeah, as well, maybe maybe even Giltzbitz, the goalkeeper, the Polish stuck guy. You know, we're looking for a number one. Uh, anyway, that's just my opinion. What about you guys? Get your own thoughts and opinions in your comment section down below. We'll do it again tomorrow when we we'll take a little look at Syria. Ah, there's some Billy bargains coming at you from Syria, ah, and then we'll take a look at La Liga, and then we'll wrap up this uh, free contract elevens uh, for you. But until then, give it, be sure to give this video some love and smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe, and I'll see ya next time. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>